The African Leadership Network brings together leaders, heads and players of various industries from across Africa to deliberate on issues that accelerate development due the continent on social, monetary, infrastructure and the arts among others. Networking allow easy access to information that are reliable to help businesses and industries grow from strength to strength through creativity and innovation. They create opportunities to the marginalized and provide a path to those whose dreams are shattered. William, a Malawian school dropout who came up with the brilliant idea of producing electricity by wind, was aided greatly and is currently in studies abroad. Managing Director of AFIC Funds of Senegal, Papa Madio Ndiaye, said the networking business has redeemed a lot of souls beyond imagination and will continue to do what it is meant to do. Exchange views and also just get your, your database updated. I mean, you got to be able to sit with somebody with Zambia and understand what's going on there. What are some of the dynamics that are making Zambia be on the move? Um, Nigeria, Senegal, Ghana. And I think that this type of network is very important. Everybody else is doing it everywhere else in the world. This is a way to kind of formalize those relationships. But the good thing is the culture, the deep culture of Africa comes back. We get exposed to many more people that we didn't know about. I'm in the investment business and part of the reason I'm here, other than just generally networking, meeting people that I like and getting to know new people, is looking at who are the new entrepreneurs of Africa. The arts industry is one huge beneficiary of networking over the years. Chiwetel Ejiofor of Deadly Voyage fame encourages the art industry by asking that the resources are put to good use since the blockbuster real-life story was shot right here in Ghana. It's not just about making movies exactly, it's about telling stories. It's about uh, a sense of uh, esteem and prestige and uh, these ideas of the fact that in Africa there is a wealth of narrative and I think it's inspirational for people and it is important for people to see themselves reflected in cinema, to see themselves and their stories told and appreciated. I think that there's a potential for it also to be commercially viable so that people will come and see these films and they can have an, an international market. I think it's of great value to young people in Africa. I think it's great, of great value to the countries in Africa. I think it's of great value to anybody aspiring to, uh, 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 to, uh, uh, to show leadership in Africa. He advised that passion and enthusiasm should be put into making screen art. The African Leadership Network, which opened yesterday with the awards ceremony, closes tomorrow with other deliberations.